functional movement disorders are incredibly common, and in fact, they are still likely under-recognized. The frequency varies in our own practice. It's about 5% of all the patients that we see. We suspect that this might be, in fact, a little larger uh, now in the post-COVID time. It seems as if the uh, prevalence has increased. Why that is, uh, we don't really know for sure, but uh, it's important to know that it is a worldwide increase uh, in uh, in prevalence. It's been reported not only as a result of COVID itself, but also as a result of the vaccine. Uh, unfortunately, with the vaccine, the reports have been that uh, individuals have considered the vaccine itself as the cause of the problem, when in fact it was a trigger, a trigger like any other stressors could be, such as a motor vehicle accident or falling, etc. Uh, some of these uh, do create the onset of the abnormality that we call functional, but they are not the cause of the problem, rather the precipitant. But uh, it seems as if uh, COVID has somehow brought greater awareness of this problem. Uh, it's been important in the case of post-vaccine functional uh, neurological disorders to clarify the picture because if uh, the community appreciates or perceives that there is a relationship between the vaccination and functional neurological disorders, there might be a disinterest or a disincentive to proceed with immunization.